Welcome back. You're watching Startup Street. Peak 15 Partners backed Mind Grove Technologies has launched India's first commercial system on chip or SOC. The Chennai-based startup has said this chip comes at a 30% lower cost than other chips in a similar segment. They added that this Indian chip commercially available in this segment and CNBC TV 18's Jude Sarath visits Mind Grove's lab in Chennai to get a sneak peek at the new microcontroller and finds out what it will mean to the world of smart devices. Take a look. What you're seeing here is the first Indian-made system on chip or SOC. Designed and built by semiconductor startup Mindgrove, Secure IoT, that's what they're calling it for now, could help smartwatches, chimneys, washing machines and smart lockers get cheaper while continuing to retain their smart features. Mindgrove's founders, Shashwat and Sharan, say they managed to make this happen by simply marrying the computing ability of a microprocessor and the connecting ability of a microcontroller. Five years ago, you had a washing machine. Typically, the washing machine might have had a very basic one megahertz microcontroller inside it. But now you're asking the washing machine to connect to Wi-Fi and give you status updates. And you're trying to control it from wherever you are. And that requires more processing power. So Secure IoT is a device which integrates these two worlds, the microcontroller and the microprocessor and also adds a layer of security because again now we are talking about connected smart devices. What Secure IoT brings to the table is that the chip is truly Indian at its core. What this means is a wide variety of use cases, more amenable to the local market and at a more attractive cost proposition. Mindgrove also says that the chip has been designed and built for Indian climatic conditions, which means it's as sturdy as can get. That's the key differentiator. Mindgrove says Secure IoT is not only a chip built for India, but for a rugged rural Indian market that is quickly adopting smart connected devices. The fact that it's 30% cheaper than competition is a nice bonus online and look for uh, uh, in the suitable e-commerce websites if you go look at these chips they, they'll have a temperature range it'll say zero degrees to 85 degrees smartphones typically uh, come into that uh, picture or minus 20 to 85 degrees centigrade you can't do that in india because of the the way your geographies are you have to design to the uh, temperature range that the indian the geography of india set up for and that's what we've done. Both founders say that what truly makes the chip unique is a last mile customization element that is seeing Mindgrove speak to device designers and strike a balance between including important chip features at effective costing. One of our strategies has been going to high volume customers first and they uh, will need the final samples of the chip to confirm everything. So what is currently happening is that we are in the process of giving them those samples, getting everything done because they have given us uh, uh, expectations and uh, in-house tests have passed. Now it's a matter of giving it to them, waiting for them to finish their uh, their side of testing and then we sign and we are, we are ready to rock and roll if you will. The idea here is to take the chip into full volume production by the end of the year. Um, as we sign these contracts, we will have the visibility to place that order on the farm. The startup says it's confident of selling secure IoT in overseas markets too, given its sustainability to extreme climatic conditions, from hot and dry to cold or wet within India. However, the fact remains there's still a long way to go before the right kind of fabrication infrastructure is set up within the country. So for the moment, Secure IoT will be made in Taiwan. The chip is currently not fabricated in India because uh, well, there, are no foundries. there are no foundries in India yet. We know that of uh, fabrication plant was just started in Gujarat. Looking forward to that coming up. But um, we are currently manufacturing outside India. But these uh, modules that we are talking about and finishing with our customers, they will be assembled, manufactured inside India, within the geographical boundaries of India. 
But with fabrication infrastructure investments in the pipeline, the future looks bright for SOCs and semiconductor startups. Minegrove raised $2.3 million in a seed round last year, led by Peak 15 Partners. The startup, still in a pre-revenue stage, says it's in talks with new investors, is seeing renewed interest and may well raise another round before the year end. However, it's tight-lipped about just how much it plans to raise. The principal focus is sell, sell more and sell even more. So what we, what we may or may not raise would directly depend on how, what we need to do to enable us to sell and sell more. So number therefore would be dependent on that. If we find an opportunity window that we need to take, uh, quickly exploit and uh, get into the market, then we'll raise appropriately to... Uh, in Chennai, Jude Sanat. Okay, on that note, we're going to wrap up